Hi, welcome to another Ionic tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, dynamic form building or dynamic form generating. So this is the idea that you have a an angular form builder form uh, with various properties, but you have a, um, a model which has many, many other properties as well. And uh, at the moment, as it stands, you need to create the, the, the form builder, which would actually mean that you'd have to uh, imp implement every single one of those particular um, uh, fields. So for example, if you had something like here, which is just a simple person, so see a, a person uh, which, which had uh, various properties such as first name, of a string and the last name of a, of a string uh, and also age for example of a number and height why not uh, if you wanted to then create a form which would use that you'd need to inject the, the form builder and then it would be something along the lines of const um, you know person form equals uh, form builder dot create and then inside that you need to add each and every one of these properties but say for example you had not just four properties but many 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 properties inside there uh, you would have to add each and every one of them now that is a lot of effort especially if you've got like say so many different properties inside your model uh, what if it, it was just a nice way that you could inject for example just the ones that required some um, some actual uh, validation so using something you know required for example uh, and and only them and, no, and nothing else uh, were needed to be added but you still wanted them to be part of the actual model well there is a way you can do that with just a little bit of injection work um, I'm not going to go through all the actual code but I will just show you uh, how that can be achieved so uh, if I'm just going to show you um, I have if I go from the the first part here the we have when the form uh, when the application first loads up we have a simple person which is of a type person and we have these particular properties in place of first name last name height age and over here we have this uh, pfg create now what i'll do here is i'll just add a debugger message there and then i'll add another debugger just after it as well okay so that should rebuild over here now if i just bring my tools now what I can show you is this on this side now you see it's just stopped on the first debugger uh, just to show you what's going on here if I do this dot person we can see we have our person object and when it goes through the mill we can now do this dot form dot controls and we can see that this particular form has four uh, properties in it which is perfect uh, two of them will have validation two of them will not uh, so the question is, how are we getting that? Even though uh, on this person form generator, we only are declaring two of them. Well, it's to do with this form generator, which we'll go through right here. So once again, I'll add a debugger message here. Uh, I'll just get rid of the first two for a sec, just to save a bit of time. Right, I'm going to save all of that now. So save all. Uh, wait for it. And then I'm going to play you now we can see we're actually stopped so let's see what we've got to work with inside here uh, so this is an inherited uh, class so this is the uh, the root abstract class uh, which is inherited by the person uh, which is that chunk of code that you can see right here so you can see it's implementing uh, and extending the form generator provider and then from the home I'm running the create method uh, which is kicked off here so if we step through this code we'll see what's going on so the first thing we can certainly see is if I just do, uh, for example, this params.schema, we can see we have a schema with a first name and a last name. And that's all we have. We don't have the age and we don't have the height. Uh, what we can now do is we can say, okay, we're going to add in the additional properties that we so wish. So the first thing we'll do is we'll, we're going to go through all the properties that we have of data so if I just write that here so check keys dot data we can see we have four pr parameters and then inside the schema if I do the same again so get the object keys of the this params dot schema I've got two now as you can probably see here what it's doing is it's actually going to give me back just the ones that we don't have in our main form if I just run that here you can see it brings back height and age and indeed if I let that run through we can see that gives me height and age and now what I can do is I'll get the actual original schema so there it is 
and I'm going to add those particular keys to this schema and give it a default uh, object of array. So that's now done. So if I now go and have a look at this schema, really simple, we've got literally first name, last name, age, and height. Uh, so now if I now uh, create my form, I should now have a form dot controls and you can see we have again first name last name uh, age height or height age whichever way around it needs to be doesn't really matter uh, and now with that original object with all those properties I can now do set value and now I have a if I do form dot value as you can see I now have a proper form with the first name last name height and age and there is validation on the first name and the last name so if I just hand that back uh, you can see it's all written out nicely here uh, just to prove that the validation works on the two I declared if I go to Joe blogs and uh, remove no, sorry Joe sorry as you can see that we now have a uh, blue line to suggest that yes uh, we need we're now entering so we're going there click away it's green clicking there again delete the content click away as you can see it's now red uh, which proves that the actual uh, uh, data is there, uh, the, the validation is there, sorry. And as you can see beneath here, the object is keeping up to date the entire time. Uh, as always, I'll upload all this code onto GitHub and provide links. Um, by all means, there are probably a million other ways of doing this. This is just a, a nice, easy way I found. Uh, in future videos, I will extend this out to show you how you can use this same uh, method in order to build more complex objects. So. Um, it will at the moment support uh, arrays, but it will support arrays as objects and it will support uh, child elements as uh, complex objects as objects as well. Uh, but if you want to be able to have uh, hierarchical amounts of validation, uh, we will go through that in a further tutorial. Uh, but for now, that's everything. So thank you very much.